Good morning, man. Let's let's how you're doing today. So what I'm gonna do today is about the Everly Green State College protest. I'm gonna show you guys an article and a debate I found like that a professor had with these protesters on campus. It's gonna get crazy, y'all. So let's roll that intro, guys. <laughs> In an edited video featuring clips of students cursing and shouting anti-white statements was leaked to social media, which has outraged the students even more. Why has it outraged the students even more? Because you got caught being racist and staging a useless protest? Own it to your mistakes, guys. If you got caught to say, hey, I messed up, I was being racist, and I know that I was being racist because I was caught on video doing it, at least own up to your mistakes, guys. In a lengthy list of student demands published by the campus newspaper, then the image or the asylum and see, the Cooper Point Journal, the students said we demand that a video created for the day of absence and day of presence that was stolen by white supremacists. Yeah, uh -huh. you're just saying that because you got caught. And they added it to expose and ridicule students and staff be taken down by the administration this Friday. The administration say, no way. We're not taking down that video whatsoever. Read the administration, you're the students. We don't have to appear to your demands whatsoever. A copy of the video was still up on YouTube as of May 29th and soldier students protesting on various parts of campus notes to college tricks. Good. I'm glad this video will go viral and show that you were being racist and you're saving a useless protest. In one clip, some students surrounded a middle-aged white female teacher and shouted, Hey, hey, ho, ho, these racist teachers have got to go. You're saying that while you're on a $49,000 college campus per semester. Oh, yeah, that's how much the tuition costs every semester. 49 Gs. You're wasting that money by stating a useless protest and not even doing your college work whatsoever. Way to go, guys. In another clip, some students of color chanted Black Power repeatedly. Like I said, if this thing was turned around 360, man, it would be around the lines for days of protest psh, for days on end. And then protesting how the college shut down. But no, since they were doing it, no, it's okay. It's okay because they were doing it. No. So, to sum up this thing they're mad because they got caught with their hands in the cookie jar they got caught for being racist and stating a useless protest and they're shouting black power on video camera where it got leaked to social media and they're pissed because like you know that thing got out like oh crap oh crap oh crap we got it got out guys it's on video it's on social media what are we gonna do we have to make it look like we're the victims of this whole thing and not the people that were shouting racist things at Make it look like we're the victims, guys. Make it look like we're the victim. Give a like a sobby statement to make it look like we're the ones actually receiving the hate, not the other way around. We're not the ones giving the hate. My opinion on that is own up to what you guys did. Admit that you were racist and stop staging useless protests that don't need to go on whatsoever and wasting professors. And students' time on campus. Let students study and let the professors teach and do whatever the professors and the administration tell you to do. No matter what. You're at their school and you're on their time. You do what they tell you to do. And you do your classwork. I bet you every single one of the students protesting has an F in all their classes. Fs. And they just found something to blame it on. Found something to blame it because they have all Fs in all their classes. Debate means you are trying to win. Dialectic means you are using disagreement to discover what is true. I am not interested in debate. I am interested only in dialectic, which does mean I listen to you and you listen to me. You don't have to have the email. We don't care what you want to speak on. This is not about you. I'm talking about this. is all about him. On terms of white privilege. <laughs> One thing I got to add, the professor was just trying to like have like a reasonable debate. Is I don't want to debate, but if you want to do it, I want to be reasonable and like we listen to each other's sides so we can find a common ground or a middle ground somewhere. No, these students wanted to cut the bullcrap. They just wanted to say, 
we're not going to listen to you whatsoever. We're only going to listen to our biased side. We're not going to listen to your side whatsoever. We're going to close ourselves off. We're going to be in our own little bubble and not listen to you whatsoever. Opposing viewpoints? What's that? Anything that involves your differing opinion from ours shall not be allowed on our side. And I'm just standing there like, are you kidding me? That's not how you converse or debate or something like that. You can't just close yourself off like that and put yourself in your own protective little bubble. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, when you get into the real world and out of college, people are going to have differing opinions. You can't hide yourself in a little bubble in the workplace. No one's going to be there to protect you. And you're going to have no safe spaces, no one where to go to, and no other people that agree with you in that workplace. You can't depend on that for the rest of your life. So you've got to hear differing opinions, my dear. You've got to hear differing opinions opinions regardless of what you think of it and have a proper debate all that professor wanted to do was have a proper debate and got immediately shut down and closed off that's crazy that is really really crazy that's the mind of some sjw's today and that's the mind of some of these blm and progressive people at these colleges that they're letting the inmates run the asylum and these students tell the professors and teachers and administration what to do. That's really, really crazy. If I was the head of the whole school, like the dean and like the president of the school, I would say all the students that were involved in the protest, you're all expelled and we're going to disallow your enrollment. You're not allowed back into the school. You are banned from the school for life for doing that. You are banned. But I have a feeling they're not going to ban these students. Instead, they're going to praise these students for like gathering up upon teachers and telling these teachers what to do and where to go and where to shove it. That's crazy that they're going to allow this kind of thing. Really, really crazy that they're allowing these things kind of days. And I see why more people are not going to school because, you know, because of this craziness. Because of this craziness. I'm glad I graduated college when I did, so I don't have to experience this kind of craziness. But wow, just wow. It makes me shake my head, man. Really, really shake my head. You're going to think all millennials act as crazy. No, we don't act all as crazy, okay? Man, I shake my head at you, my dear, because you don't want to have a proper debate and have an open dialogue and dialect. You're just going to close yourself off and have your own policy that agrees with everything you say. Have your own yes men and yes women that agree with everything. Instead of a person that challenges you intellectually and makes you grow up and say, hey, you know, maybe I see this other person's side. Maybe I want to come around. I didn't think of that before. You know what I'm saying? No, he's going to be like, blah, 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 like plug your ears the whole time and not even listen to the word that the person is saying. That's no way to live, my dear. That's no way to live. So, my electrolytes, what did we learn today? We learned that the students at the Everly Green College are being racist, staged a useless protest, and basically told the professors and teachers what to do and when to do it and how to do it, and they let the inmates run the asylum. That's crazy, and I shake my head at that, that they're not going to do nothing to the students whatsoever that protested and missed classes and didn't do their work whatsoever. So, that's going to be it for me, my electrolytes. Um, you can follow me here on Twitter. My Twitter handle should be right here. I'm most active on there, and I post my videos on there, too. So that's going to be it for me, my electrolytes. Have a great day, and stay awesome.